Greetings, my fellow serfs. BJ Weller. Hello. Oh, there we go. BJ Weller with you for day 272 of Stronghold Kingdoms. So let's see what we've got here. Siege camp just launched an attack, so it looks like diplomacy kicked in again. Let's get our free card. Now that we're getting two per day. Wolf camp there. Oh, we have disease. So let's do what we need to do here. How much disease? Ten good. Two monks. No. Two monks, please. Disease. Get. Side door again, sure, why not? How's Penny doing? So as you can see, we're here in Blue Hill, we're here in Monument Rocks, thanks to uh, Traveler's Way. I become steward in Monument Rocks as well, which gives me more votes for Sheriff, yeah? As you can see, it's not helped. And uh, Traveler's Way has been given stewardship of Farmington from uh, the Clown. Oh, he's got a bandit camp there. I don't know if I take that before he has a chance to get, because I think he has a quest he can complete for that. So, uh, let's take a look at what's been going on here, so we know, of course, uh, you know what, let's, uh, oh. stash, 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 trade, 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 stash, 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 trade, 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 trade. <laughs> So we've had two uh, enemy attacks stopped. That's not bad. Stash, stash. All marked. Okay, now we can get down to the nitty gritty of what we've got going on here. Show more reports. So, achievement attained. Let's do that. Officer died. Ooh, that's nice. 40,000 honor. And that is right there. Officer, hold the office of steward in four parishes. And it looks like that is actually an achievement that is maxed out. As you can see, with Wolf Hunter, we have Diamond, but now our next level is Destroy 1000 Wolf Lairs. Wolf's Master, Scout 10,000 Stashes, so we're just over halfway there. Team Player, Donate Packets. Slow, slow progress for that one, Weird Guild. 200 Bandit Caps, so... This is actually our first achievement that we've actually been able to max out, so that's not bad at all. So that's our achievement there. Parish attacked Oval Flare here. Ortez again. The usual fare. Act Oval Flare, the usual fare. This is actually Monument Rock, so a little bit uh, lesser. Oval Flare as usual. Uh, what's this guy here? Oval Flare. Okay, Steward in Parish. There we go. Elected Monument Rocks. That is us getting into uh, Monument Rocks. Right to the uh, simple walk in. As we saw in one of the previous episodes, 
battle for sword and the head. All for a good cause. So monk blessing. So, of course, now that I've uh, been researching a bit more monking, I've been able to research. Speaking of research, we've got research going here. So we're currently uh, going to build up our castle. Then we are going to uh, do tools, which reduces building costs. So I'm going to be up to 25%, so that'll help a little bit. And foraging, which will increase... Increase something here. Where is foraging? There it is. Increase the amount... Uh, my scouts can uh, pick up for me. So what else did we research? Anything? I know there's a couple of things. I don't think there's anything here. Besides tools. So we had foraging and castellation here. Still got to put in for fortification at some point. I'm going to start building the main towers and actually getting my castles the way uh, they need to be. Of course, I've obviously not done any farming. So I am using uh, the parish guild buildings for that. So I didn't do... Ah, stockpile. Yes, I increased my stockpile capacity. Because now that engineering is maxed out, I have to increase the capacity of each storage area separately so stockpile of course is for the wood stone iron and pitch granary of course for the food hall is for the honor goods like the venison the chairs the metalware the wine that kind of stuff and of course is for our ale armory of course for all our weapons and of course housing is to increase the number of peasants that can come to a hovel i do want to Great merchant deal. So I've got one point left. I still have not decided what my next point should be. Whether I should add an extra merchant, increase their speed, or do something else like do another uh, baptism or pilgrimage, something like that. So I just have not decided. Or uh, I'm out here. So we've got six hours of blessing time currently with the first level of research. So well, that's pretty much what we did here. So you can popularity bonus for six hours, so two. So you basically get one point per monk that you send. So we bless Blue Hill so we can complete the quest that we've got linking up there, I believe that is. So two plus two for six hours. And as you can see, there is no honor reward for blessings. This I presume is because uh, you increase your honor as you increase the popularity of uh, the parish. So the enemy was attacked. Was stopped by diplomacy and monument rocks. Excellent. Nice bit of honor there. Without having to worry about rebuild and monument rocks. It was vanished. Excellent. So achievement attained. This was... Ah! Loyal member silver. We've only got 10 weeks in the Illuminati project. So got 10,000 honor for that. Another blessing to round out the quest. Blessing one. As we can see here, ten points of popularity increases. Just minimal honor. Of course, it's the first level of the quest. So let's see. Blessing three. So we've got. We gotta do send out basically 50 monks is what we gotta send out for 5,000 honor. So sort of like a team player, kind of uh, only worth it to uh, free up. I mean, obviously you get the points from your blessing yourself if, of course, you're blessing your own parish. <laughs> But for the cost of monks and the cost of faith points, 5,000 honor, there are things that can give you a lot more honor for cheaper, really. So we will complete that. we we'll collect our piddling honor. And the lane 3. Exit now. I've got to destroy five paladin castles. That's nice that I can barely destroy one, so we will abandon that straight off. Because that is not going to happen anytime soon. 
team player, so I want to do my monkey before I do anything, so I'm going to have to cut back on my on my parish donations until I can get that active monk restoration. So Farmington, of course, had disease, so we removed that, as did Traveler's Way. Traveler's Way got rid of most of it, so I sent in the monk to finish it off. Bit of honor there. So let's see, the enemy arrived in Pinarolosa yesterday, as well as Blue Hill yesterday. So Traveler's Way forwarded me some information, some attacks, so after he became steward Farmington, he started clearing away the AI. I think he told me he forgot he had the quest, so he didn't get, uh, he forgot to have the quest active for, in fact, both the Wolflers and the Bandit Camp. So, it's important before you attack anything, make sure you, if you have a quest for it, throw the quest up. T-dub, T-dub, remember. And he arrives in our parish. We did that. They proved, proved. So I've been for Blue Hill and Pinarellosa, I think, right? Yes. Close. So, basically, at, at best, you only have, you know, maybe five, the most I've seen is five days go by, or actually maybe, maybe, there have been a couple times with a week go by at a siege camp. For the most part, you've got three days, five days maximum, but I have no worry about freaking siege camp, so they are, god dang annoying. So, let's, uh, Take a look at what our snakes attack it was stopped by diplomacy and Cortez. So we still got the snakes castle there. We are determined to get rid of at some point, if nothing else, just to give Venom a break from all these attacks. I've got to build up the parish army a bit more. I got to make sure I get siege or catapults rather. Again, stopped by diplomacy. So you can see diplomacy does come in handy. That's definitely something you want to max out. Stone for Trinitaria. So we got cheese down there, which we don't really need. So we will go. Whoa, hello there. We will go after this. Now destroyed there, we're getting rid of disease. We got anything else here? Nothing there. Have a Farmington. Farmington looks okay, so we we'll... if we travel in, you know what he can take out one of these surrounding wolf flares with the parish army too. At some point. So uh, let me do this. You know what? I should leave one of these wolf flares for him, because he may not get honor, but they'll be easy wolf flares for his parish army. Go back to Farmington, gal. Yeah, nice. You know what? He's got a quest, I think. I gotta see, because I think he said he had two wolf flare quests, so I might save both of them. Obviously, as I recall, the first one is you destroy one, and I think the second one is you destroy three. <laughs> so he can get the first quest done, then he can get the start of the second quest for that guy there. And I'm sure we're gonna have the wolf flare pop in Blue Hill and Monument Rocks again, so I will leave those for him. So, Cortez attacking the Wolf Lair. Just lost two pikemen. Not bad at all. So, let's see what we want to see here. Let's take a look at the bandit camp attack. So, ooh, we lost seven archers and a pikeman with this one. Blue Hill. Was that the one? Yes, this was the one I took out of Cajonios to help uh, handrail a little bit. So coming all the way from Blue Hill because that was my uh, most built up parish army there. <laughs> Obviously, no honor for that. Come <laughs> on. 
used to help out a fellow uh, faction meet and house meet there anyway. So this one, I think this one is in Pinarolosa itself, yes. Let's take a look at that. Looks like we only lost one. Uh, no, oh, excuse me. Allergies. Allergies crushing me here. with at least one ranking for hit points for pikemen, I guess not. Look into that. Of course, Pinarolosa, I don't think I have any, uh... Well, I think I might have built a, uh... a Fletcher in Trinitaria. Some Cortez attacking abandoned camps. I lost three arches there, and that was it. encounter 243 wolves holy shit and wow look that he didn't lose anybody with that nice job travels way oh, coming down. so farmington has their archers max nice looks like they've got their piping halfway there So I can learn something. So he attacked see, this bandit camp. I mean, obviously, with uh, bandit camps, you're going to lose something there. So we lost what, eight arches. Uh, that's not bad at all. No catapults lost. Good. Let's see what he did here. Let's see, it's basically like a rat's castle. This point. So obviously the AI he's going to encounter is going to be a lot higher, even though he's much lower level. Farmington has the clown, which is a prince, and his, or, which is a prince level. He's got three villages in here, so it sort of brings up the level of the parish really high. Very good. Very good. Let's see, another 243 wolf lair. Wow, no losses again. Nice. Bet he couldn't get credit for those two for his quest.
snake attacked. Lost one archer, that's it, okay. So those were the first, so the first one was, uh, yeah. So the probe, when it probes, it's the first attack, so let's see where this is in. Enemy attack Cantonitis. So we stopped him and lost two pikemen. Let's take a look at this. Got our ballista firing. Swordmen a bit stronger against walls. This pike himself has broken through. Yeah. Heck, the freaking peasants broke through before the pike. Stop by diplomacy in Cortez again. Excellent. Enemy attack Trinitaria. Trinitaria is even a little bit weaker. Oh, we got the two turrets anyway. are about the same against the walls. It was 11 minutes ago. Nice. So Traveler's Way, a couple more wolf layers. Let's see what he's got here. Hmm. I didn't... 195, I guess. I wonder if he scouted that one or not. Well, he actually won. He won against it. I wonder if he did like I... Did and did a blind attack against it, assuming it would be a uh, minimal one. So obviously, this seems to be with only 195 wolves. This is probably Wolf Lair that popped up after he arrived in the parish and destroyed all the other AI. <laughs> so as you can see. Even with him in the party, well, with him in the parish, the clown being in there with three villages, the AI is still going to be formed.
survive the human salt? I thought he had one pikeman survive. Looks like he's gonna lose all his pikemen. You know what? There. Ah, uh, body blocked one. That's what happened. Ah. Yeah, lucky he won this battle. Soldier can walk in there and uh, into any keep, so it doesn't matter whether he has a pike and survive or not. Archer, peasant, swordsman, doesn't matter. As long as one of your troops survives. Not this one. How do you do this one? So, this one. Alright, you send a bit more. Yeah, see, this one was a lot better. Saved all his arches, but let's. Looks like he lost like five pikemen or so, so let's take a look at this guy. Whoa! We had the front door blocked and the back door. Wow. That sucks. But again. Again, he uh, did it the right way here. And considering all these wolves here, he preserved most of his troops. See, you know, even a large size wolf flare is manageable if you come in at the right spot. Basically eliminated 195, having to deal with 195 wolves. But basically almost cut it in half from coming in at, you know, the most optimal spot. So very good there. Oh, we have been restored. Excellent in Cortez. I think we will end it there. So just the uh, view of the map has to update. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So I know we took that too. All right. Most excellent. So this is BJ Waller saying thanks for watching, and until next time, I will see you in game where uh, basically just everything else will stop by diplomacy. <laughs> it's very good. Thank you. It helps. All right. Enjoy, and I will see you again soon.